We go on to international uh, and global world music with James BKS, a gifted French artist who's due to release a new single titled Best We Can, featuring Nomke Bozikode, a South African Grammy Award winner. And that's just weeks before the release of the widely anticipated second part of BKS's Wolves of Africa album. And the new song is characterized as world music sounds, a meeting Amapiano percussions, and is to be released on the 8th of September, along with a video recorded in France, New York, and Johannesburg. And to tell us more on their project, we joined by Nomke Bozikode, Grammy Award winner and James BKS. Good afternoon to you both and thanks so much for joining us. The little bit of French that I know, uh, I'll start with you. P uh, perhaps, James, if you'll indulge me. Bonjour, uh, ça va? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great, thank you. And your French uh, is I'm, I'm very good, thank <laughs> you. But congratulations, guys. I mean, you're making headlines, of course, uh, including uh, uh, performing with uh, Angelique. Kijo, tell us about how this project uh, started. Welcome to you, Nangabo. Thank you so much, my angel, for having me. Sanbonan la pekaya bonjour, come ça va? Très bien, merci. Yeah, merci beaucoup. Wow, I'm so proud of you. Um, Engabo shonjoguti gichable gakulu uksebenza no angeli kijo. Um, also gakulu gichable gakulu ugutu u James a shangani se le likuwe kule luguti na mingi be party yalo. Mina genga shongiti ngi shangani no James sa senza i af corn gati mangizo alumundo kula lana gati oh my gosh I would love to do a song with this person and coincidentally na uteme puma on stage wang bona wati eh inomzaibo I love your music so much eh wakulu magena mugu ti senza ingoma and yeah the rest is history. Yes, and James, just uh, maybe for our viewers uh, to translate what Unom Kebo is saying in terms of how you met, it really wasn't a chance meeting. We like to believe that these things are orchestrated. It's synchro destiny that the two of you were to meet uh, at this particular event. And how then did you form this partnership based on uh, shared values and the love for global music and infusing especially uh, the South African Amapiano genre? Yeah, I mean, it's a blessing for me to be able to do these kind of records, you know. I admire Nonsebo, I admire Angeli Kijo. I've been a fan of their music for quite some time, actually. Uh, just like the rest of the world, I discovered Nonsebo uh, through Jerusalem records, but I'm sure she was already famous. And I went back to listening to, to her music and I heard the Zola Moya Wong record. I heard the Siafana record, I heard the Bayabuza record, and I was like, whoa, I was blown away by her talent. And um, I said to myself, man, if I can get a chance to actually work with her one day, I would love to try to fuse what I'm doing musically with uh, her style and the I'm, I'm a piano style that's going all around the world now. And as far as Angelique Kijo, um, Angelique's been reinventing herself for uh, forever. You know, she, she, she's a legend. She's been doing so much for the, the, the African music scene, but also to everything that she's doing uh, uh, through her actions. And, and I'm so happy and humbled to be able to, to uh, release that record, which is a record of hope, a record of believing in ourselves and forgiving ourselves. Yes, uh, and um, uh, the, your recognition even at the uh, Grammy Awards, um, besides the fact that there had been four bears, other uh, prolific artists who had uh, b been uh, pioneers and trailblazers uh, for them to, to carve a path for South African uh, generations of musicians to follow. The Amapiano phenomenon has shaken the world. The pulsating sounds thereof has been adopted because you simply cannot ignore the talent. So how do you put the various elements together to come up with this unique sound? Um, to tell you the honest truth, as for me, whenever I'm singing, I'm not uh, singing for people to love the song. I uh, just I'm always uh, I always sing from the heart and I truly believe that when I sing from the heart people will love whatever that I'm doing and uh, with the talent that South Africa carries I really believe that um 
I'm not the last person to win the Grammys, but we're still going to have many uh, people to win the Grammys. But all we need is to uh, uh, sing from the heart, not do something that uh, we think people are going to love. That's why also I'm here today in St. Louis, traveling the world, because I'm doing something that is coming from the heart. I'm even singing in my own language, Isi Zulu, and people are, are loving it, even though they don't understand what I'm saying. So yeah, let's let's be genuine and uh, believe in ourselves as uh, Africans. We can conquer. We can. There's nothing that we cannot uh, achieve if you can believe in ourselves. I really strongly believe that we are very talented, and um, the world is still waiting on us to hear our our great talent. Uh, and, and yeah, to, to echo just that, Namabo, uh, the authenticity which resonates around the world, uh, you know, because the music in itself speaks of lived experiences uh, of people uh, around the globe. But James BKS, uh, the essence of the collaboration and what the, the sentiments thereof are in, in, you know, embracing patience and self evolution. Talk to us about the behind the, the, the song itself, the lyrics, what inspired this collaboration? Uh, to tell you the honest truth, um, James just sent me the song and um, he he didn't actually tell me what was the song about. I listened to the song because it was in English. I then understood that, okay, this is what he's talking about. He's actually a person who loves a message behind the song. He's not just a person who just uh, writes lyrics. So um, that the song is all about uh, saying as people, as human, we need to forgive ourselves. We do have uh, flaws or we do make mistakes, but we are human, we need to forgive ourselves and uh, we need to uh, love one another as human. Uh, yeah, the song is all about that. So uh, as I'm saying that, I think James is that one artist who love a song with the message and also to hear that Angelique Kijo is also on the song. That was a bonus for me because I grew up listening to her music. I love her so much. So yeah, thank you so much to um, uh, James for uh, combining this uh, record whereby the two queens, which is me and Angelique Cage are together in it. Yeah, and I love his voice so much. He's an um, amazing singer as well. No, no, and, and again, we'll, we'll say kudos to you, James, and thank you for recognizing uh, the, the queens uh, of Africa, as it were. But in, in your words, are you saying that we need to redefine uh, society to have a more compassionate uh, world that recognizes the uh, humanness uh, in, in each other and to be patient when one falters, you fail, um, that there is a safe space for you to recover. Is this what the song is about? Yes, pretty much. I mean, to be honest, you know, we are the hero, the hero of James, your line is not so great. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid um, where you are, but I, I, yeah, you're breaking up terribly. So we're going to have to go with Unom Ngebo and at some point hopefully catch up with you. Uh, the performance that will be taking place, we know that the album release is on the 8th of September. And uh, in terms of the performances that the three of you will be engaging in, Unom Ngebo, give us a, a bit of your gig guide as to where you'll be and hopefully South Africans would be able to catch you as well. Okay, right now as we speak, I'm here in St. Louis. I'll be performing. Um, there's a, a building behind me. It's written uh, Bush Stadium. That's where I'll be performing tonight. And uh, tomorrow I'll be performing in Baltimore. And then after that, I'll be in New York. Then I'll be in Paris together with uh, James. Um, we'll be touring around uh, because that's where James is living. And then, yeah, and then I've got Abantu with Azix Bantu. Uh, on the 28th of October, yeah. Now we love it for you and all the best uh, for flying the South African flag high and we hope that we're not going to lose you to South Africa where you will decide to relocate and become a permanent resident of uh, the U.S. But we're really, really happy for you and we really celebrate and honor you. Um, we're going to let you go, but uh, 
touch again with uh, James BKS. Let's try with your line there, James. We were asking you about the essence of the song so that you can capture it in your own words for us to um, appreciate and also reflect on. James? Yeah. Yes, th that's definitely it. I mean, you know, we are usually the hero of our own story, right? But when you step back, when we step back for a second and that we, re we realize that there is so many perspectives in life, we may also be the villain or the sinners. And sometimes it's good to actually step back for a second, respect one another and realize that we need uh, to let ourselves time to grow and that we all mis make mistakes in lives. And uh, we just human. So we eternal students and we just got to keep going, you know, and that's what the music and the song is all about. Yeah, all right, thank you so much. And uh, the operative word there, that we are students, we are eternal uh, students on this earth, discovering new things about ourselves and others, creating a more compassionate universe and uh, sharing in our pains, our successes and challenges. And even a better way of putting it is in the immortal way of a recording that was uh, done in uh, New York, it was done in Paris and also in South Africa. Can't wait to see it.